Okay, what's up? Say this your boy Chris Lee, aka Tony. I took all my other videos off. I'm putting up new videos uh, to bring y'all something new. Um, so what I'm finna do is do a quick tutorial and Cool Edit Pro. This is pretty much uh, the basics, but it's a step. Uh, the basics to pretty much get you to uh, some of the best quality um, that I've been having in my songs. So check this out. First thing I want you to do is import a song. <clears throat> import a beat or whatever. You find the beat, click OK. Okay, first thing I like to do is turn my beat down automatically. Turn my beat down. Okay, <clears throat> next thing I want to do is go to File, Save Session, and then I like to go to my desktop. I like to create a new folder. Uh, cool Edit Pro Session folder. <clears throat> After I create that, open it. And then I like to save a folder in there and save the session as um, <clears throat> sample. Okay. Did I do that? Save sample. Save this inside of there. First song. <clears throat> and as you see, it's saved up there. You always, in case, if you have one of these uh, new fancy computers like I do where Cool Edit Pro do not work, seem to work on this computer, uh, like the HP with one terabyte hard drive, six gigs is a memory, Windows 7, it might benefit you to save after every time uh, you record a vocal. <clears throat> Next thing uh, you want to do is you want to name your vocal. So I'm going to name it as C. Lee 1. Uh, the, for the next one, I want to name it as C. Lee 2. <clears throat> okay okay next thing that you want to do after that is uh if you have let me show you something i'm gonna record a vocal real fast and some of y'all might got this issue where it only records on one half yo it's chris lee it's chris lee that issue that could be very uh frustrating so if you got that issue i'm gonna show you how to fix that right now First thing you want to do is click record one. You want to click left channel if you have like a USB, I mean, uh, interface, two, pre, something like that. Uh, you want to click left channel. The interface that you're using, keep it at 16-bit and keep uh, same for all tracks. After you do that, uh, next thing you want to do, well, let me show you what it does real fast. Yo, it's Chris Lee, it's Chris Lee. It records it on one vocal, one vocal uh, all the way through. You ain't got to worry about it being on both sides. It's just pretty much me recording in mono, but it turns out stereo after it's mixed down. Uh, next thing that you want to do after that is there's two ways to do it. If you want to start putting effects in, let's say for this first track, this is what I like to do. I like to click the effects. I like to click amplitude, <clears throat> dynamic processing, double click it, and then jump to the current effects rack. Click dynamic process and one time click properties. I like to go in and pick what um, compressor I like. So I like to pick vocal comp 81 negative 24 fast attack. And uh, next thing I would like to do is uh, add a reverb. So I go in, click delay effects, look for my reverb, bam. Double click it, click it once, click properties. This box will pop up, but just press okay. Um, I like to use vocal natural reverb. I like to take the attack time down to at least 700. Uh, leave everything every, everything else the way it is for, for the purpose of this song. <clears throat> okay. Uh, usually when you click this box, it'll say prepare. Mine is not doing that right now. I don't know why. Uh, but click apply and click OK. Now, I'm finna just record a bullshit vocal. Um, I don't know any lyrics to, uh, to this beat, but I'm gonna go ahead and freestyle some stuff just for tutorial purposes. Let me see how much time I got. Four minutes. Okay, here we go. Beats Planet. Okay, it's Chris Lee, <laughs> AKA Tony. Uh, Yes, I represent the tone. I'm trying to get my money on my own. Niggas start hating. 
niggas start talking that trash Don't be surprised if I put this lead in your ass Bitch nigga, ride in the hood and get dumped on I don't give a fuck and pop my trunk on the song Nigga hating on the good, what's good Nigga talk down, candy paint, fleet wood Okay, now that I got that vocal recorded uh, <clears throat> This is the next thing that you want to do I like to go to EQ and Seb, you wanted to get like a quick radio effect. This is what I like to do. Take my high all the way up to 32. Take my low all the way down to negative 32. Take my mid up to like 20. Now check this out. You want to turn it down because it's going to be real loud. So let's just say 15, uh, start with 15 and see how much volume, how much more of the value we're going to have to turn down. So listen to the radio effect. <clears throat> Planet. Okay, it's Chris Lee, <laughs> aka Tony. Uh, yes, I represent the tone. I'm trying to get my money on my own. Niggas start hating, niggas start talking that trash. Don't be surprised if I put this lead in your ass, bitch. Okay, as you can see, you heard uh, the radio effect that I've been using with it. Now, this is the next thing that you probably want to do. Uh, say if you just want to use it for regular vocals, I like to. Um, Double, and if y'all wondering how I'm doing that, I'm right clicking it, uh, just right there where the numbers are. Right click it, click flat. Okay, for the ha, I like to click ten. Mid, I like to click five, and for the low, I like to click negative ten. This is just me per uh, my personal settings for me and my vocals. Uh, now you can turn it all the way back up, and let's see where we at with it. Okay, it's Chris Lee. <laughs> AKA Tooney, uh, yes I represent the tone, I'm trying to get my money on my own, niggas start hating, niggas start talking that trash, don't be surprised if I put this lead in your ass, bitch nigga, ride in the hood and get dumped on, I don't give a fuck and pop my trunk on a song, nigga hating on the good, what's good, nigga talk down, candy paint, fleet wood. Now, if you see that, that already is some good quality. I don't know if y'all can hear it real well or how this Camtasia program is working, but uh, that's some good quality from what I'm hearing through my studio monitors. Next thing I like to do is I like to go in. <clears throat> before I even do that, check this out. Remember, I told y'all to always save y'all session after y'all record a vocal. So, yes to all. Um, supposed, to, <clears throat> supposed to take it uh, right right where exactly where you want to save it so I'm gonna just go there just in case uh, cool edit pro sessions folder sample and uh, create save and do it one more time just click save okay that lets you know that it's been saved next thing I like to do is click the vocal and take all this extra stuff out so I like to highlight it at the front of the vocal and then I like to click silence do the same thing for the backside uh, after you do that Highlight your whole entire vocal. And then I like to go, this is just what I like to do personally. Uh, I like to go to <clears throat> effects. Then I like to go to filters, FFT filter. Then I like to go up to de -esser. So let me do that one more time slowly. Filters, FFT filter, find de -esser, click OK. Next effect that I like to put on there personally is I like to go to filters, uh, graphic equalizer and go all the way down to you see spit clear find spit clear click OK uh, what I like to do after that is take a little selection uh, noise reduction everybody don't need it all the, all the time it depends on if you got a lot of noise and stuff around um, get profile from selection I like to pull it down just a tad bit click OK once I do that I like to do the whole thing noise reduction I don't know every time I keep doing this I'm gonna stop the video but uh, it keeps stopping my program when I try that so I'm gonna pause it and come back with okay I'm not gonna do the noise reduction for now because uh, it seems to be messing my effects up so what next thing you want to do is uh, you want to go to delay echo and then you want to find the click canyon. I like to turn this down to at least 25 so it's not too loud. It depends on the song. And turn my echo to about 650. That's just my personal preferences for, for this song uh, and the tempo of this song. Now I'm going to let y'all hear the quality now. Check it out. 
Okay, okay. It's Chris Lee, <laughs> aka Tooney. Uh, yes, I represent the tone. I'm trying to get my money on my own. Niggas start hating. Niggas start talking that trash. Don't be surprised if I put this lead in your ass, bitch, nigga. Ride in the hood and get dumped on. I don't give a fuck and pop my trunk on a song. Nigga hating on the good. What's good, nigga? Talk down, candy paint, Fleetwood. Now, have you heard that? That's some good quality. Um, just in my personal opinion. So that's pretty much what I do for like my rap songs. R&B is totally different. Um, that's just the vocal. Now, of course, mind you, I will add ad libs and all that kind of stuff. And I will, I will pan them out and stuff like that. So say if I had this, uh, name to something, uh, C Lee track three, then I will pan this to 50, uh, and pan this to L 50 or something like that. It depends on the kind of song. So I, I appreciate y'all watching this tutorial and I hope it was helpful.